Hi everyone, uh, in this quick video I am going to demonstrate to you how to sell branded clothes or jeans um, for your eBay business, right? And I'll show you quickly, I'll show you what sort of thing you look for. I know, um, right, when you're listing it, when you're taking a photo of uh, any garments, now let me show you this one. This is a perfect pair of uh, women's true religion um, Buddha brand yeah um, skinny pair of really really navy dark pair of jeans this is absolutely brand new uh, hardly been worn crisp so this pair I there was no need for me to you know do the ironing and Make it look nice. It's already there, right? So I just took some photos and I'm going to list that. But when it comes to a couple of pairs, I've noticed this pair here. Look, a pair of River Island stretchy skinny um, jeans. Now, as you can see, look, the inside pockets are sort of uh, twisted backwards, like here. Now, if I take a photo of this, it won't look nice. So but if I spend a few minutes ironing it out, and obviously it's gonna it's going to look nice, and you will lose all this crease. People get put off when they see a photo of a jean they're buying, and it's all creased up, and uh, it naturally does not look nice. So spend a few minutes um, ironing it, then take a photo of it. Okay. And another thing you should always bear in mind: make sure when you um, when you show people the measurement, make sure um, you measure it perfectly. So if you measure an inside leg, hold your uh, the tape measuring tape here, right? Come all the way down there. So let, let me demonstrate. Like so, if you hold it here. And you got to come all the way down to there, right? All the way. So, inside leg, you measure from inside there, normally inside from here to always down the bottom of the the um, end of the toe cap or end of your hem. Right, the hem is tend to be always measure your hem there so this is roughly now let's go to the other it's much more creased up let's look at this one this is roughly about sorry about this holding the old camera or mobile phone i tend to record this is about roughly six and a half six and a half yeah If I stretch a bit, maybe seven. Yeah, between six and a half. Yeah, I think seven. Him is about seven on this one. Right, and when it comes to doing the waist, always, always, always take the measurement, hold it against inside, really tightly inside, inside the. Don't do it from outside. You know, hold it inside. Right, so this is, I can't show you, I'll hold the camera and also show you inside. Well, this is 17 inch, so normally what you do, you times it by 2. So 17 times 2 is 34. So that is 34 a waist. Right, there we are. If you can see, it says down there, look, 34 waist, 34 long. Right. There we go. So that's how you work out waste. Always double it. Whatever whatever you get measuring from here to this inside, always double it. So doubling it gives you the the measurement of the waste. Okay. And always make sure, you know, when you're taking a photo, take a photo nicely and make sure you mention all of your defects. Right, never ever leave defects behind. So, and also try to, before you list it, make sure you um, 
do a bit of ironing. I know it's uh, hideous work, but if you're going to ask for top price, if you want to get a top top end, it's best to um, do some ironing, okay? And always take a photo of the labels. Make sure you take the photo of the label. That gives clear indication where the, the item is genuine or not, okay? So always take the photo of the labels. And then that way, you know you're selling a, a genuine pair of Levi's or whatever you're selling, right? Okay. Um, and another thing to bear in mind, when you start selling like this pair here, always look at the stitching, okay? Now, if they, if some people, what they do, they will shorten it. And the stitching here, uh, you know, the way, if they cut cut the legs, you'll notice there will be a different type of thread. The stitching and the thread use is different type. Maybe a similar color, but the stitching will be slightly different. Like here, look, there, the same pair again. The other, the other pair, look, the same thing. And if you look inside, look how it's done. So this has not been cut. As you see, it's like a woven sort of thing here. All right, so this is original, okay? So make sure you always look at it. Um, it's very difficult sometimes to tell. Again, in this one, uh, the best thing to do is to look at the thread on any part of the legs, right? And go down, and then you look at this this thread, yeah? And if they look similar, or same, same sort of thread, then you know it's not been cut, okay? And that's how you're supposed to tell um, whether it's been shortened. And if it has been shortened, then obviously you're going to measure it and you tell, you put on the listing is shortened, original uh, length was this, and after the shortened is this. And also mention if there's any distress, like here, look, there's a wire to the hem here. So you always mention that, okay. Another thing, again, if you can't find any labels here, this one's just, just back and run, just back and run, Jane, okay. Uh, if you cannot find the label, sometimes labels uh, tend to be inside, so you gotta look, look for it. Other times they may not have a labels, okay. So, all of them should have labels, there we are, let's find this label here. Uh, it's been washed off, is it? Right, okay, let's have a look at this. Yeah, there you go. There's the label, and it's got uh, large, just large on it. Okay. So, spend a few minutes, you know, going through the details, because at the end of the day, you, you can obviously put up just... Right, so now there we are. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, just back on run jeans. Yeah, it's got a little metal plate. So it's a genuine just back on the metal plate at the back of this, okay? And make sure, another thing is always to make sure, you know, make sure the, the pockets are not torn inside because sometimes you don't see, see it. Check it. Put your hand in there, check the pockets are not torn. Uh, same here. Check them, they're not damaged or torn or there's a little tear, big tears inside, you know. Make sure everything is perfect before you set it off. Um, it's crucial, it is absolutely crucial to do these kind of things. Like when you buy fiber ones, genuine fiber ones, you're always going to get this type of um, Look, they will all t tell you a story about themselves. Right, most of them, fiber ones or jeans, Levi jeans, always contain um, a piece of the right of other history. Okay, so always, you know, always look for this label. Two horses pulling pair of jeans together. Right. Okay, and you know, if it sounds dodgy, look at it. Do a bit of research on online. Righty ho. And most of them, you know, if you can look at the 
the buttons on the Levi's always have Levi Strauss and Co printed on it okay lovely so ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos uh, hopefully you like them and please please do subscribe look look at this one here look look at this nice pair of jeans but I'm afraid very uh, this this been literally torn off here look right so there you go something like this if you're going to ask 19.99 I'm afraid that price will drop to 14.99 because there's no way because of this okay slight damage but you can always ask for a high price and slowly lower it down okay lovely so thank you for watching this video and all of my other videos please click and click like subscribe button and comment button as well please make sure always comment in the videos right till the next video thank you thank you thank you for watching lovely thank you